Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Korea, where Ming has collapsed, and we've started picking up the pieces. We annexed Shen Yang from Manchu when Manchu spat out. Looks like he could also get Andong as well. Who's this? That's a Qi core. So that could have gone to that could have gone to Qi, but it didn't. We also took three provinces from Qi. Some nice development over here. Really nice. Like this one's 12, 14, 8, and 11. Some nice development. It's all farmland too, which means it's cheap to develop this if we wish to. It's 5% cheaper. And I'm hoping we didn't get too much aggressive expansion here. Looks like the answer is not really, no. And that's part of the reason why we got alliances. So we only got 14 AE with our ally. Yeah. Good times. So right now we're going to sail over to Japan and get a war with him going. The problem with that is um, Ming is going to be in the war as well. And I'm tempted to co-belligerent Ming. Maybe it's better if I just declare on Ming and then co-belligerent Japan. That might be better. I don't know. It's going to be a ton of aggressive expansion no matter what I do. It's, we're going to get coalitions for sure. Ooh, Oirat's in two wars. Defender, defender. He is getting slapped. Maybe we do him. Let's do him first, just because Mongolia has claims. I can just feed all of that to Mongolia, really. Sounds good to me. Then we'll go to Japan in just a little bit. But our claims are done on Japan. Declare for Alksa, sure. Go get him, Mongolia. Wait, would Ming even join? I guess he doesn't have any rebels anymore. The rebels have all won. So at this point, Ming would join against us, right? No, he wouldn't. Okay, let's do both these wars. Oh god, Ming is 5,869 ducats in debt. Okay, that's a good reason not to go to war. I guess we'll do Japan first. <laughs> it's a lot of debt you got there, Ming. Repay a loan. We're down to f six loans. Oof, so good. Let's get moving. Mongolia should have no trouble sieging this guy up. We'll just take whatever he sieges. Not going to bother with anything else. Ah, uh, tempted to get relations up with Wu. I kind of want to keep him as an ally. Yeah. Yeah. We're over our limit by one. That's okay. Now Japan only has one fort and it's in Satsuma. So I'm definitely gonna take that fort. Did I claim it? I did claim it. All right, so we'll take all of Honshu and we'll finish up Kyushu as well. Let's go to war. He's two techs behind us now. Oh, shoot, hold on. There, that's better. He's two techs behind us now, and yeah, Ming won't join him anymore. So I'll declare for Ekizen. Sup, Buttercup? Ming wants access? Fuck off. Can I have access? Sorry I collapsed. Sorry. Okay, he's going to Satsuma for sure. So I'll chase him down with this dude. 
Speed four, go. Three, three cannons will help him siege a little faster. You guys can siege that. And you can split up and carpet siege. Fantastic. Japan will soon be ours. Let's get uh, Bukhar on our good side again. There goes Japan's army. Chase the navy away and we can go siege Hokkaido. Hmm. <laughs> Yaren lost to the rebels. Awesome. Good job, Yaren. You're the best vassal. I'll probably just next him. He's an idiot. Wow. Ukra strunk. Yeah, I definitely want to ally him. He can be my buddy. I guess I should kill these rebels. They are kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, of course you can have access, dude. Let's be friends. I wonder if we can rival any of his rivals. If I can rival Delhi or Afghanistan or something, then great. My reputation sucks. Look at that. Negative 23 from bad reputation. Ew. Siege it, Mongolia, you lazy little vassal. I don't want to siege it. You do it. He's going to siege Mugasan instead. Motherfucker. Alright, I guess I'll do it. Let's recruit a dude. If you want something done right, do it yourself. Oh, wow. Oirat's just dead. So I only get one province out of that war. Okay, then. Cancel that, dude. Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. Karadel has no allies. I can just declare on him. I probably should. Good job, Mongolia. Oh, now I have to kill that army. Right. All right. These guys are going to teleport to Miyuga so I'll just put my army there. No problem. Who owns the islands northeast of Hokkaido? Nobody. It's colonizable. The Kirils. There goes Echigo. Just waiting on Satsuma. Should be fairly soon. Okay, are we going to tech up again? No. I mean, I want to. I think we're going to go through these quality ideas before we tech up again. How are we on loans? Still six loans. Okay. Okay.
Go ahead and teleport. Bukharite is declared on Karadel. Mongolia, siege him. Hmm, failing both sieges at the same time. Feels bad, man. Okay, there goes Mugasan. So we're just waiting for those guys to teleport over. Come on, you can do it. At least I hope you can. Nope, failed again. Okay, they've almost teleported. Come on. Nope. Failed again. Goody. Let's get a blockade going. Give it 14 more percent. Still failed. Even with the blockade. Max relations is 67. That's kind of crap. There they are. Fucking rebels, man. There goes Satsuma. Okay, I want this. You give, you give clay. Nah, war reps ain't gonna do anything. Give me that money. Oh, I can make him get rid of cores. That's fun. No fort for you. Well, we own Honshu. That's nice. Honshu is mine. Feels good, man. No revolt risk. Good. Okay, core whatever you can. 102 overextension. Whatever. This is almost done. It'll be done in March. Okay. What's this? Korean nobles? Chara, Hunkun, Hetuala, Yaran, and Sung, whatever. Where's my nobles? Shut up, nobles. See how easy it is to shut them up? Shut. Up. Nobles. And now they have no revolt risk. Glorious. Repay a loan. Five loans remain. We're getting there, baby. One step at a time. How's our AE? I actually have a pretty good amount of AE right now. Tempted to get some advisors here, but we're only making four ducats a month. Ew. Ming is fabricating on us? You're shitting, right? Okay, Ming, I'll play that game. I'll fabricate on you, too. Fucking Ming, man. He never learns when to keep his dick in his pants. He just can't help himself. It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Bavo says back to mass working again. At least I got to your stream E4. Aw. Well, have fun, Bawo. We'll see you later. Korean particularists. Iman Onengol. This is just generic thing, right? Yeah, it's just from National Revolt Risk. Can I get a Revolt Risk advisor? Nope.
No, no matter what I do, I can't get a revolt risk advisor from him. Can I? Ugh, gross. <sighs> this king is just terrible. So we're getting revolt risk from low legitimacy is two revolt risk. War exhaustion is two revolt risk. I guess I can bump that down. That's better. And then I can get rid of this by Iman, Onangol, Altrika, and 2-1. Okay. At least I know where those provinces are now. It's like I'm learning geography, right? Come on, Boo Girl. We can be friends, yo. Oh, wow. Bukura took all the land that I wanted. Okay, maybe we can't be friends. Apparently, Bukura does not want to be friends. Fair enough, Bukra, fair enough. So I don't need this shitty war. And I can't do anything about it. Yeah, we can't get anything out of this war. That sucks. That's a beautiful Japan, though. Damn it, Bukura. We could have been friends, man. You fucked it up. Alright. Lower funding on the army. And let's get our troops home. We'll just relax for a little bit. And we'll go back to patrolling trade. Hmm, claims on Ming. Don't mind if I do. His allies are so bad. He's allied to Lan Na and Sukotai. Like, what the hell are Lan Na and Sukotai gonna do? Nothing? Probably nothing. Ooh, mercantilism. Nice. How much mercantilism do we have? 21. Not that much. All right, trade ships. Go back to doing trade. We haven't done this in a while. And the other ships just mothball. Oof. Remember back in the day when we had money to build those shipyards? Yeah, it's been a while since we had money like that. Four loans. get relations up with our allies over here. Whew. 
It's really disappointing that uh, Mongolia, my vassal, didn't do a very good job of just like sieging up these guys over here. But, oh well. Not the end of the world. What is this? Bukhara is at war with Afghanistan and Delhi. Ooh, defending. Yes, yes. Lose all your lands. Maybe then you'll be happy with me. Corruption is rising due to unbalanced research. Gotta love unbalanced research. But we had to do the unbalanced research or else we wouldn't have been able to fight any anything from Ming. Now that we've caught up, though, we can just go back to teching, which is good. Cores are done. And we don't need to make these into states yet because we raise the autonomy. So the autonomy is at 100. It's going to take some time for states to uh, be useful here. Oh, rebels. Jin separatists. All right, I'll help with that. Is that mountains? It's mountains. Gross. Where else does Jin have cores? There. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go sit in the mountains of Ningwu, which is another Jin core, and we'll hopefully get them to attack us in the mountains. We'll see. Oh, we got caught. Shit, we got caught in Ming. But at least I got my claims. He's got a Regency Council now. And he has a Mandate of Heaven back. He's got that good old Mandate of Heaven. Just gonna have to white piece Cardell. I can't access his lands. Oh shit, he moved there and now I'm attacking in the map. Fuck me, dude. It's exactly what I didn't want. Whatever, we'll stand here. He'll come back here, it's fine. Okay, we get more production efficiency. Hang Yak system. With agriculture being the bedrock of our economy, the management of villages is the most important thing. We will set up a system of self-government for the villages to encourage a sense of community. Production efficiency plus 10%. Very nice. We also got army tradition plus one. Which is pretty good. Annual army tradition plus one. Yeah, so now our army tradition increases every year. Every year. That's really good. It'd be nice if these rebels would succeed down here in Mingland. I would love Ming to have more explosions. When's our truce up with you? Five years? I think that's worth getting some claims here. I might as well eat the rest of him. I'm just worried about our aggressive expansion. Repay a loan. Three to go. We're getting there. We're really getting there. Once our loans are gone, I'm going to get some advisors. But I really can't handle advisors right now. They're just too pricey. I still can't white piece. Oh, next month I can white piece. Okay, good. There we go. All right, and next year, and get him out of my hair. He's not doing anything for us. Oh wait, I can't, can I? Um, 
Oh yeah, enough time has passed. Good. Go away, Yaren. What sucks is because our legitimacy is so low, we're annexing like super slowly. God, my only rival is Bukura. Oh wow, his army is 73% smaller than mine. Does he have allies? He's allied to Chogtai and Yarkand. Would they join? I need to know if they would join. Only one. Alright, I'll give it a whirl. I'll give it a whirl. Because we do have claims on him. I can probably feed a whole bunch of this shit to my vassal here. What's the culture like here? Yeah, so I can feed these three provinces without any penalty. He'll just accept that, no problem. Perfect. Yeah, go for it. And I think we'll just do that, those like those three, and then humiliate. So Chogtai joined against us, Yarkin did not. Turn off my fort. We're actually ahead of him in tech. Oh no, we're not, he caught up. Well, he just got tech 11. God, he's in four wars. He's in four wars, look at that. Do we have a better relations over time advisor? Um, I can probably hire one from the uh, random war. Wu declared on Ming. Oh, have fun. Just don't call me into it. I can probably get one from the nobles. Minister. Yeah, I just need 40 influence. Yeah. Okay, better relations over time it is. And he's cheap. Seven ducats a month for a level three. That's pretty good. Alright, what does this war look like? Pretty big war, actually. Good luck with that, Wu. How come we're not converting? Because we don't need to. We have super high tolerance of Buddhists and Shinto. We have more tolerance of Buddhists and Shinto than we do of our own religion. So there's no need to convert. In fact, it's bad to convert. Isn't that crazy that it's bad to convert? That is weird. Yeah, Mongolia accepts all this culture here, so I'll just give it to him. Okay, one of his wars just peaced out. He has, like, no army. How did I destroy Ming? Um, I got his war exhaustion really, really high during a war. And then I white pieced him out in that war because I was... I didn't really have any way to fight him back. We, we were able to win a bunch of battles, but we couldn't siege his forts. He just had... he had 60,000 troops. So he just kept hammering us when we tried to siege stuff. So what we did is we got his war exhaustion up with blockades and combat. And after a while, um, he wanted white peace. So we white pieced him. And then he died. He exploded. Rebels everywhere. Muscovy is here, everybody. Trading in Chinaware, what is that? Legitimacy plus 0.25. Well, that doesn't really help much, does it? Not when you're at 5 legitimacy. 
Man, I wanted to be your ally, Bukura, but not anymore. Are you going to next Mongolia? Probably. Hordes... He's a horde, and hordes do not make good vassals. I'd be better off vassalizing some of these Chinese miners. Oh, the rebels are back. Get me my claims, baby. Mmm, claim it up. Alright, so we got claims on Chi here. We'll go full and X him when our truce is up, which is... Four years. Okay. Now, since he's my rival, all I'm going to do is humiliate, take some money, and take these four provinces, it looks like. Maybe five. Maybe. I'm doing pretty well, King of Machine. I could use a fresh cup of coffee, though. I'll probably do that after this episode. Ming is losing the war. Whoa, look at that. Okay, we'll go through the wild. No problem. Looks like Jin is going to get independent, which is fantastic. Someone else for me to attack. Alright, Chagatai, I don't want to vassalize you because you're a fucking horde. So, I'll just take your cash and get you out of the war. He doesn't have much cash. I'll take war reps, too. Trade power. He doesn't want trade power. Whatever. Out of the war, you little shitbag. Yeah, Bukura has, like, no army, so I might as well just carpet siege. Really? You won't give me that land? I think you ought to. I want war reps, too, and humiliate and all that jazz. I want all of that. Oh, man, is the episode over? Fuck, we're out of time. We're always out of time. Every time I look over at the timer, it's at zero. Every time. Literally always zero. All right, why don't we call this here? We'll come back next time. We'll take a little bit of land for our vassal Mongolia. I'm just going to take the stuff of Kalka culture. So these, I guess that one's not Kalka. What culture is that? Oh, Buryat. That's my culture. Do I accept Buryat? I accept Buryat. Uh, whoops. I should have kept those for myself then. Eh, whatever. Mongolia can have them. But yeah, we'll probably just give him those because they're Kalka culture. If anything else, I'll give him Oirats because Oirat culture is his culture group. See that? That's his culture group. So he would easily not have rebels for these provinces as well. As so. So why don't we focus on getting that peace deal for my vassal and I'll do that next time. Have a good day.